I'm going to start drinking on the job. Start? I'm going to continue drinking. <laughs> you remodeled my house. You were drinking. I went through so much beer that day. That was a bonus pay. That was a bonus pay. That's why there's still a wall. <laughs> yeah, that's why there's like nails in the ceiling. My door still won't close. That's because your house settles. It was perfect when I did it. And then two days later, no, you, had you the, had been drinking beer, so perfect was like this. <laughs> then two days later, you had the guys come in and level the house. Yeah. You didn't tell me you were going to have the house leveled before I put the door in. Blame it on the house leveling. And actually, they got it pretty good, but the house settled again. <laughs> it's continually to settle constantly. Constantly? Suddenly. Continually, constantly. It's because I built my house on quicksand. That's why you only have three kids. You started out with five and... Lost two. In the quicksand? We send them to adoption agency. In the quicksand? I thought you were supposed to say you sent them to the farm. The farm. The farm. <laughs> Cheers! Welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, everybody. How are you today? Good. So we're starting off a whole new batch of 100 episodes. Just did our 100th episode. Just did our 100th. It we, was good. We drank a lot. Yes, we did. And we're continuing. <laughs> so today we're looking at Admiral Nelson's Vanilla Rum. Have you ever had Admiral Nelson's? I think so. I think they're lying. It's not rum. It's made in Kentucky. Kentucky. This is just a cheap, it's in a <laughs> plastic. This is by far the most inexpensive alcohol we have. What? Yep. Um, the 175 is like 14 bucks. Cheaper than Kentucky The 750 gentlemen. is $8, 799 Kentucky gentlemen is still cheaper. You hush. You're off camera. You can't talk. Zip it. No. Zip it. So, zip. It's not available at Total Wines in our area, but it is available at Total Wines outside of our area. They don't have this at Total Wines? No. They have Admiral Nelson's, just not the vanilla. Okay. So I think we got this at um, some other... Local place or Local something? place, but I don't know where. Don't know. Was well, this just something you guys decided to pick up? And I have no idea. It just, just showed, showed up, up at the house. <laughs> it's weird how booze just shows up at your house. Yes. So. I like it, but it's weird. $8 rum, Admiral Nelson's from, I, I wrote down the distillery and now, oh, it's from Bardstown, Kentucky. It's the Admiral Nelson distillery. 70 proof. So it's not even 35 alcohol proof. Percent. Yeah. It's not even vodka proof, but... Uh, well, most flavored vodkas are only 35% are they? anyway, so... So let's try this out. Oh, because it's a $8, it's going to be a five barrel rating on cost. I'm going to die if this is a five barrel overall. Aroma. So no, we yeah. have sharp alcohol pungent. I'm not getting any of that. Mild, light, or pleasant. There's can, a little alcohol -y to it. Can definitely smell the, the vanilla. Yeah. So it's a toss up because it's not very pleasant aroma. It's not like not pleasant, but it's between a mild and a light. If you're getting a little alcohol, I'd do a three and a half. <coughs> Cody, Cody sn has snorted it up his mouth. Or his as, nose. As, per, as per usual. That's every, you're supposed to do it. So you got the, what is it, the thing that you Never mind. He doesn't even know what he's saying. <laughs> three and a half. I'll give it a three. I can't get my own rating. Usually you can't. <laughs> Flavor. Very strong vanilla. 
has a alcohol uh, bitterness to me. I'm going to do two and a half on it. No, I'm going to go ahead with a three. Because the alcohol bitterness isn't taken away from the flavor. It's still palpable. But it's more moderate than uh, bitter. Three. I'm going to give it a three. It's no Stolies. <laughs> no, it's not. It's Admiral Nelson. That's what I said. It's no Stolies. <laughs> bite. It doesn't really got a bite. I give it a three and a half on the bite. All right. So that'll give us... 14 and a half. So that's a three and a half barrel rating. Um, I forgot to ask Cody if he wanted to rate any of this stuff. You good with three and a half overall? What's the I'm pooping face for? I don't really like it. Okay. I would say it's good. I think for a rum it has a fairly significant bite. But I would say like... <laughs> How would, would you drink this? I would say I can see where Cody is. It doesn't have a bite. It has a little bit of bitterness to it. I find that it has a bite and a linger bite. I don't see that, but I it has a bitter a bitter end to the yeah. a bad aftertaste. It has a bite. It has a bitter aftertaste. Yeah. Yeah. So does that change your flavor? You put it as a three. Are you going to downgrade it to two and a half? Because of the after yeah, I'm gonna finish, go two and a half. Two and a half. Okay, so no matter what, you're not changing much. Now you're down to fourteen, which is still going to be a three and a half. So even that half thing, it's a three and a half, and it's only a three and a half because of the cost. Without that cost factor, it would be a three to two and a half. It's not that great of a rum. No, I no. would definitely drink this with a rum. mixer as Coke. Put it in rum. Or put, mix it with rum. <laughs> <laughs> mix it with a better rum to take make your better rum taste worse. And then no, put it rum. in Coke. That's what I meant, a rum and Coke. How much have you drank already? A lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I would mix this with a Coke and have a rum and Coke with it. If you like the vanilla flavor, um... I don't know what other mixed drinks you would have. I'm not a rum person. Maybe a um, hurricane or something. Okay. Yeah. But it's just like... Yeah. You can't believe you're turning into Cody. Yeah. 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 I was already doing that before me. So mix, mix it with a Coke. Yeah. Would you buy this? I would buy this if I was like... Throwing a party? Party and making... Rum and coats? Hurricanes or... Uh, I would do it for a mixer. I, I I wouldn't find myself buying this just because I'm like, well, I'm just going to get me some... So I can tell you, I don't know when we got this, but we've had it a long time. A really long time. As long as the show's been going on and it's barely been broke into so apparently we haven't liked it really from the get-go we think one of your daughters probably bought it might be and they didn't like it so they gave it to us it's not bad if you're common and you want that sounded bad huh? <laughs> oh the common folk oh you're just so so let them eat cake <laughs> put this on your cake you have to do that voice again, please. No. <laughs> it was awesome. Oh, that's so deplorable. What's that? That's why we bought it. For cake? Oh, okay. That would actually be a good thing. Use it for cooking? Mm-hmm. Don't ruin a Coke? No, I just, I didn't say no, that. No, I would mix it with a Coke. Yeah, rum and Coke, fine, but cooking, maybe, uh, like making rum cake. Um, otherwise, I don't know that I would buy it. Eight dollars. Yeah. I think there's better vanilla rums. Although all the But again, I'm not a rum person. 
All the vanilla stuff tastes, they're all 35% and they kind of all taste the same. Yeah, I think, I don't know. All right, so make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check out the Twitter and the Instagram. Check out our merchandise. Um, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. I think I started with that. Remember, there's no bad rum. There's only bad... No, I'm just joking. <laughs> there's rum and there's rum. There's rum and there's rum. Cheers. Laters. Laters. That vanilla is overpowering. Good sleep. Not all that great. And you're drunk, so you'll keep drinking. Hey, you want some more? <laughs> all right. Ready for episode 18? It tastes like chicken. It'd be good on pancakes.